and Vinny. Three, Vinny, guitar, six. Hello everyone, Pete here, and welcome to this episode of Pete and Vinny 3 Minute Guitar Tips. Today I'm going to be showing you how to take your basic sweep arpeggios and play them in an interesting cycling sequence. So this cycling sequence, which I'm about to show you, serves a couple different purposes. It can either be used as a more comprehensive way to practice your sweep arpeggios, more of an exercise that way, or it can be used as a way to create more interesting chord changes and phrases in your improv. I'm going to be demonstrating this technique in the key of D major. So first, let's establish the chords of D major, played using arpeggios. And if you know the cage system, the arpeggios that I'm using will all be C-shaped arpeggios with their roots on the A string. So first we have a D major arpeggio on the 5th fret. Next we have E minor on the 7th fret. F sharp minor on the 9th fret. G major on the 10th fret. A major on the 12th fret, B minor on the 14th fret, C sharp diminished on the 16th fret, and the octave position of D major on the 17th fret. So now we're going to cycle these arpeggios, meaning we'll take the first shape, in this case D major, and play it up to the top then skip the next shape, E minor, and play the following shape, F sharp minor starting at the top, back down to the bottom. Then on the A string, go back to the shape that we missed, which is E minor, and repeat the cycle. So a section of two cycles played together would sound like this. So now that we understand the cycling concept, I'm going to demonstrate a full cycle for the whole key. Check it out. And then, when you reach the octave of D major, you can descend back down. As always, the important thing here to remember is that even though the example today was in the key of D, you can practice this in any key, and I strongly encourage practicing it in every key so that you can maximize its impact. And lastly, remember that you don't have to cycle exactly as I did today, especially in your improv. Experiment, have fun, and create your own chord progressions using this cycling technique. <laughs> Thank you for watching this episode of 3 Minute Guitar Tips. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to our channel for more videos just like this. And if you tried this tip, please let us know how it went in the comments section. See you next time. Three, minute, guitar, tips.